Welcome to this Linden House training video. Today we'll be looking at PAC functionality in Virtual Cabinet. PACs allow you to create groups of documents that are related to one another and view them easily. PACs work both in the in tray and search results screens. On the bottom right hand side you'll see a PACs tab. When you click on that it will show you any PACs that relate to the current set of search results. To create a new pack, you highlight a group of documents. So in my example, I'm going to group together all these VAT returns. So highlight all the documents I want grouped in a pack. I can either click on the new pack on the right hand side in the packs tab, or I can right click on the document and go packs, create new pack. It will now ask me for a title for the pack. So I will give it a sensible name of VAT returns and press return. The documents that are in a pack show with a paperclip next to them. When you hover over the paperclip, it shows you the number of packs that that document exists in. On the right hand side, I now have my VAT return pack. It shows me how many documents exist in that pack, the user who created it, and the date that the pack was created on. I can make this pack a favourite pack, so if I have a number of packs showing in my results here, if I click on the little star, it will make sure that that pack always appears at the top of the list. To view the documents that exist in a pack, if you just double click on the pack title, it will filter the search results on the left hand side to only show you documents that exist in that pack. To go back to my original search results, you just click on the return to original results button and it will take you back to your search results. If you want to see packs that just, you, just you've created, click on just me. If you want to see packs that everybody's created, Click on everyone. If I wish to add a new document to the pack, if I have the pack highlighted on the right hand side, I can come across here and I want to attach this piece of correspondence. So I can then right click, pack, add document, and it's now increased the number of documents in my pack to four, and I now have a paper clip against this document as well. And now, when I double click on the pack, I can now see all four documents in that pack. And then I'll click on the return to original results, and I now have my normal result, search results back. To remove a document from a pack, highlight the pack on the right hand side, right click on the document you wish to remove, go to Packs, Remove Document, and that document will now have been removed. On that pack. The other functionality you have with packs, if you right click on the pack itself and you're a portal user, you can publish the whole pack of documents to the portal. This functionality is covered in another video, Portal Publishing. If you wish to delete the pack, you can right click Delete Pack. It will warn you that you're going to delete the pack, but it's not going to delete any of the documents. Within it, they will still be in your search results. You click OK, and your pack has gone, but the documents that we had in the pack are still available in the search results. Thanks for listening, and this ends the pack functionality training.